Hey, it's Paul from HowToNetwork.com. So this is your instructional video on how to install the HowToNetwork.com VRAC. You can see the URL there. It's low lowercase v, capital R for rack. There's two download links there, one for the How To Network Lab, which is an executable file. So you may not be able to download this if you're at work. I'm sure they're blocking executable files. You need to download the lab file. I'm just going to put it into a folder that I'm creating right now and also a VMware player. The How to Network lab is based on a GNS3 solution which is a piece of software created by some programmers that's free to use. So I just wanted to acknowledge the fact that they've created it and not me. But what we've done is create a topology file and we're also going to create some of the files to make it easy, easier for you to study for and practice your CCNA exams. So I've installed the executable file for How to Network Lab. Now I'm installing the VMware player. The player is a free piece of software also. So what the VMware player will do is create a virtual machine on your computer. So I'll just run that file and then I'll skip forward on the video so you don't have to sit there watching piece of software install. When it has installed, depending on your choices, you'll have something on your desktop, an icon to click, or you'll have something on your start bar where you can click on start VMware player. So there's my player. Accept the uh, license terms if you want to use it. And then what you can do next is click on Open a Virtual Machine. And I'm going to navigate to where I installed my How to Network executable file. I'm getting a few warnings that I need to update various pieces of software and I, I also get other warnings because I've actually installed the VMware pl um, player from another part of my network. So you probably won't get the same messages as me. But when you've installed you can click on play virtual machine where the green play arrow is. Again you may get some of the messages asking if you want to download other pieces of software. Just for now, I'll ignore all of these. All right, so our virtual machine is opened. You won't have the same software as me because I'm using a trial version that I've been working on. But the most important icon, which you will have, is the GNS3 icon in the top left there. You can double click to open it, but I have problems when I try to do that. So I generally just resize the screen then go back to the icon, right click it. and then click on open. So this will open up your virtual machine. For the first time I actually you open it, I don't use the window that just opened up there. I'll go straight to the program, click on file and I click on open. That should take you straight to where our topology.net file is. And what this will do is open up a network topology that we've pre-created for you to do your labs on. So what the whole, that's the whole point of this uh, package we've put together is to make things easier for you to use. You can navigate with your mouse scroller or your up and down arrow keys to get the topology in the middle. And you can see you've got five routers here and a, a switch. Not an actual switch, but it's doing the job that a switch would. You click on the start all devices there, the play, play head. And you can see the green connections between all of the devices are now live. What you can do is click on the left ABC and that and the one on the right will give you the device names, the one on the left will give you the interface numbers that have been configured. Then the only thing remaining to do is to console to all devices which you click on the icon on the top there to the left of the play arrow and you can see we've now consoled to all our devices automatically. 
that's just a short video just to get you started installing and, and opening up the topology what I'll do next is um, just go to one of the windows and put a few commands in I'll point out in this video but we've got another video for this purpose is you have to supply your own Cisco iOS because Cisco owns software I'm not allowed to provide it so you have to um, bring in your own iOS software into this program. I'm just typing a few commands here and then in the next videos we'll show you how to do some more stuff with the software.